Hello, uh, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, one of the uh, salt systems that we use on the spas that we sell. Um, the salt system that I'm going to introduce you to today is called the Saltron Mini. Um, it is a system that's designed to go on any spa. Um, why we like it is because it's really small. You know, it comes in a small box. We can ship this pretty much anywhere uh, in the world. Um, and it's simple. You know, it takes less than a minute to install. It just plugs into a regular outlet. Um, there's a small little control box that controls the amount of time that it comes on. And it'll even measure the um, uh, parts per million concentration of the salt that's in the water. Um, so we really like it because it is uh, such a simple system. Um, this piece that's hanging in here, this is actually the electrode. And so what I'm going to do is explain basically how, how this system works. So when, when we get the water uh, in a spa, we have to purify it on a regular basis because we're not draining and filling it every time like you would a bathtub. So normally on spas, we'd use a granular chlorine or a liquid chlorine or perhaps a slow dissolving puck that slowly dissolves or in a tablet dispenser and slowly dissolves in the water. The big difference with this type of a system is when you first fill this up, we're going to dissolve a certain amount of salt in the water, uh, depending on the volume of the water that's there, uh, so that we can get a concentration of between 2,000 and 3,000 parts per million. So you might think, wow, that's really salty water. It's actually not really that salty, it's saline. So it's the same salt concentration as if you went and got an IV at the hospital. Um, it's a, about the same 0.8, salt concentration that's in the human body. Uh, so it's really not that salty. Comparatively, ocean water would be 10 times or more uh, salty. So this is still technically fresh water with salt dissolved in it, a small concentration of salt dissolved in it. And I don't know if you can see, uh, but when, when we electrify these charged plates that are in the electrode, uh, it actually causes electrolysis and it allows that uh, salt to separate into its uh, default molecules, right? So you have a sodium molecule and you have a chlorine molecule and they're connected and when we dissolve it in the water, they separate. That separation is important because once the chlorine is free from the sodium, it's now free to go into the water and, or it's in the water when we do this, it's now capable of reacting with any contaminants that are in the water. Um, any inorganics um, it could react with, but mainly what we're looking at is dealing with bacteria and stuff that's in the water, so it purifies it. And as you can see, the, the water is crystal clear as a result. Now, why would someone want to do, use a salt system instead of the, the standard system? Well, the, there's a couple of reasons for that, but probably the biggest is the fact that this is a perpetual system. So when I first fill up the tub, I dissolve a certain amount of water to get it to that 0.8, 0.9% concentration. Um, and then it's perpetual. So um, it frees up, it reacts, um, and then it forms another salt. And then that salt is once again, uh, split and the chlorine can once again go through the water and react and it forms another salt. And so this perpetual motion means for, from a customer's point of view is you're not constantly adding stuff to the water. But you're also not getting a constant buildup of reacted chemical. See on a traditional maintenance program, the chemical that you add in the water is good for a certain period of time. And then once that chemical has reacted, it becomes the, the uh, combined chlorine or chloramine, it's in the water, but it no longer has the capability to actually sanitize. So we have to add in more or dissolve more, right? If it's tablets, you dissolve you know, one day's worth of, uh, of use each day. Um, or you're adding it in each time you get out of the spa or something like that. The bottom line is, is you have to constantly introduce new uh, chemical into the water and you're, each day that goes by you have another day of built up reacted chemical in the water. And that's actually the, it's that reacted chemical that's in the water that most people have difficulties with. Um, anybody that says, oh, I don't like the chemicals in spas, it's really, I don't like the reacted chemicals in spas because the reacted chemical is what gives you that strong scent. Um, you know, when you smell your, your skin when you get out, you literally smell like a, a chlorine tablet um, and you feel like you got to go take a shower because you've got this chemical smell on you. It's also the gas that comes off when the jets are going and stuff and gets your eyes and your eyes water and people that, uh, um, complain about drying out their skin. It's almost always this reacted chemical that people have. Well, the beautiful thing about a, uh, this type of a system is it's not got that buildup, right? So you don't 
you know, when you walk into our showrooms or you uh, open up your, your lid, you don't get hit with this waft of chemicals, chemicals type smell. There's no smell at all, almost no smell at all uh, uh, when we do this this way. Um, you can see it kind of smoking. It looks like it's smoking. What's interesting here is as the electrode cell is splitting this up, it's splitting the molecule up while it's already dissolved in solution. So, you know, the contaminant is in the water. So we want to make sure that the substance is dissolved in the water so it can react with it and keep it clean. Um, super simple system. It literally takes less than a minute. Uh, to do it. Um, you can increase the amount of time that it comes on based on your use. So if you use your spa more, you'd, you'd have it doing this for a longer period of time each day. So it can be anywhere from 1 to 24 hours that it'll run. It also uses the cell to determine the uh, elect electrical conduct conductivity of the water and that's how it's able to calculate how much salt is in the water. So if you have more salt in the water, there's going to be more electrical conduct conductivity. If there's uh, less salt in the water, it'll have less chemical um, con conductivity. And so that's how we're able to tell how much salt is in the water and it actually gives you a measure. So it'll either say that salt concentration is low, uh, normal, or high. Um, and that allows us to make sure that it's in the right range to produce uh, at, a, at a steady rate. Um, and then it just becomes a matter of determining how much you use the spa. So if you use the spa more, um, you would turn it to run longer to produce more sanitizer. If you go away on holidays uh, or you're not going to be using the spa as regularly, you can reduce the amount of time. And this can be done at any time. It's just a matter of, of changing the out number of hours per day that it runs at. Um, it's smart in that if I pull this out of the water, it also is measuring that conductivity, but now it's measuring the conductivity in air and it goes, wait a sec, I'm not in water anymore, I'm, I'm in the air. So it actually shuts the system off. So it, you'll see it actually will flash those two um, dashes across there and saying, hey, wait a sec, it came out of the water, so I'm going to shut up. But if I put it back in the water, it'll immediately measure it again and go, hey, it's, it's working again. And then it'll start producing the smoke again in the water. So super simple. Um, if you have a spa already that's running on a chemical maintenance program, the next time you drain and fill, you'd simply fill up the tub with water. You'd um, add your salt, dissolve your salt in there plug it in, hook up the cable, put this in, and in under a minute, you could have yourself a saltwater spa. It's as simple as that.